Hi, I wanted to take a minute and welcome you to my 1211 class. I have just a couple of slides that I want to tell you just a bit about myself and about this class and my philosophy on teaching. I've been at KSU teaching chemistry now for about five years. Before that, I actually taught high school. Um, if you're from the area, I taught at Kennesaw Mountain High School for a few years and then at Alatoona for a few years. And before that, actually for most of my young adult life, I was a research chemist at a company called W.R. Grace. Just to tell you a little bit about myself, the picture in the upper left-hand corner is a picture of my husband and I at Shenandoah, Shenandoah National Park earlier this summer. And the picture in the middle are my three fur babies. The one in the front with the ball in his mouth is my alpha named Carbon, who's also right next to me. I guess you can't see him down that low. Um, and then up on top of the deck, the other black dog is um, Oreo. And then the one to the right, the apricot one, is Amazing Grace. And don't let her name or size fool you. She is a demon dog. So I basically like to do anything outdoors, hiking or kayaking. And this summer I've been trying to do some gardening uh, with all this stay at home quarantine stuff. Um, so the lower right are some flowers I planted, but I like that picture mainly because if you look carefully, you can see there's a little lizard on the flower, which I thought was just kind of cool. Hmm. And my philosophy of teaching is that anybody can learn chemistry. I've taught chemistry for enough years um, that I truly believe that literally anybody can do well in chemistry. I know a lot of students are scared about it, um, but the whole key to doing well is to keep up with it. So I know there are a lot of classes because I did it too, where you can, it's okay um, to wait till the night one or two days before an exam and cram it all in. I have not met one student, regardless of how brilliant, who's able to do that with chemistry. So I actually would like to tell you to spend a chunk of time every single day on chemistry, but I realize it's probably not practical. So at a minimum, I would recognize that you, I would recommend that you spend a chunk of time every other day, at least on chemistry. Just as important in that as that is asking for help as soon as you need it. So don't let yourself be confused for even a week. I don't mind getting 10 emails a day with questions from you. So um, make sure you either ask a classmate or me for help right when you need it. So the whole key to doing well, and you can and will do well if you keep up. So I look forward to meeting with you very soon. Please work your way through the rest of the Start Here module before class begins. You want to get all the technical stuff out of the way, make sure everything you have, um, everything that you need, you have so that when the chemistry starts, you're ready because the, the coursework moves very rapidly. So bye for now.